revenue projection. The average selling price of crude oil between January and December 1995 was $17.25 dollars per barrel. However, in view of the usual vagaries of the international oil market, the price of $16 per barrel has been adopted for the purpose of computing the 1996 revenue projection from crude oil sales. At an official exchange rate of 22 naira to $1, the projection translates into an estimated oil revenue amounting to 214 billion naira. Non-oil revenue is projected as 126 billion naira. The federal government net revenue for 1996 is therefore estimated at 340 billion naira. Expenditure estimates. In 1996, greater emphasis shall be placed on development of the productive sectors of the economy. In 1995, capital expenditure amounted to 44 billion naira, while recurrent expenditure stood at 66 billion naira. For 1996, a total of 48 billion naira has been budgeted for capital expenditure, while recurrent expenditure amounts to 77 billion naira. Included in the recurrent expenditure are provisions for the payment of arrears of pensions and gratuities, payment for transition program activities, and provision for increase in personnel cost. Furthermore, the sum of 5 billion naira has been set aside for the payment of debt owed to local contractors. Additional measures to address the problem of domestic debt will be announced by the Minister of Finance. With regards to the servicing of external debt, the provision of $2 billion has been made as was in 1995. Full details of the projected revenue and expenditure profile will, as usual, be furnished by the Minister of Finance in his press briefing on the 1996 budget. However, I should point out that government will substantially increase agricultural production, enhance the quality of education and healthcare delivery, promote the development of solid minerals, and refurbish the existing railways. Provision has also been made for the completion of the Calabar export processing zone, enhancement of the industrialization process, improvement of infrastructural facilities such as power, telecommunications and water supply, advancement of research, rehabilitation and maintenance of federal highways nationwide. The federal government will deal decisively with the problem of insecurity of lives and property. Adequate provisions have therefore been made to effectively mobilize and support the police and the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. In the 1995 budget address, I stated that in order to reduce waste and minimize extra budgetary expenditures, the existing parastatals would be rationalized with a view to pruning their number. In this regard, government has set up a committee to examine the parastatals and their functions. The committee is expected to submit its report in the first quarter of 1996. States and local government revenue. By the application of the revenue allocation formula, state government's share of the federation account revenue is 37 billion naira, while local government allocation amounts to 31 billion naira. In addition, state governments will receive 8.8 .8 billion naira and local government 5.5 billion naira from the VAT. This level of enhanced allocation, which cannot meet the entire financial requirement of either tier of government, reinforces the need for the states and local governments to redouble their internal revenue generation efforts. I expect to see in 1996 concrete results in this regard. States and local governments will be encouraged to take more positive part in the development of agriculture, education and health as provided for in the new constitution. Accordingly, they should put in place the appropriate machinery for the implementation of these provisions.